Ah, hey. That's Pascal from the OCA team. And I'm going to show you in this video how to control VDMX with uh, OCA score. So there are other videos to show how to use score, so I just jump into it. Um, first thing that we need to do is to add a device here. And here we have OSC query devices and here we get VDMX from the list. So we see that VDMX is declaring um, is control uh, surfaces uh, through OSC query. So I see two of them. Uh, we'll start with this one. So we see that here we have uh, three elements and each of those are somehow um, reflected in the scores device explorer interface. So now with this I will be able to build uh, scenarios in score. One thing I could start with is to drag and drop a node and change the values a little and drag and drop to another node here. And you'll see that if I'm playing it will recall one and the other successively. Now what I could also do is use this same state and but interpolate. So if I'm now pressing play you see that I can go from one state to another. And I could go on uh, with other states like this and this and it will interpolate between each of those. We can add some curvatures, we can also yeah, unfold the different parameters into different curve editors so we can make some great points and more complex uh, behaviors. Yeah, so let's see that. And you see that now all of those will have their own trajectories. We can also change the execution speed to slow it down or speed it up with this little slider here, but we can also use one of the processes that we have on top of automations, which is called a mapping. And if we had a mapping, that will allow us to scale um, an input to an output. So we could use this other interface that we've done here, and we could use this speed main speed um, slider here and I will use that as a source. And now in order to control score I have to declare score itself as a device which I can do by adding a local device and now I will have all of the parameters of each and every uh, score parameter here appearing as parameters themselves. So you see when I'm moving the slider here, the number is moving here. So I will be using this uh, parameter here as a result of the mapping. So now if I'm playing the scenario, see that I can change the speed of its execution here from within VDMX. One last thing we could do is that in score we can um, fragment the execution in different sequences with what we call triggers. And these triggers can be triggered like with the mouse. So you see that this is playing and now that waits and now this is playing. So you have to discard this time bar. And now it waits for me to press this trigger to uh, launch the rest of the scenario. But what we can also do is use some other interface from outside in order to do so. So I'm going to use this one, which is called Go, and I will just drop it to each and every trigger here. And now, if I'm playing again, I can 
you can see nothing happens until I press go, then this part plays, then go and this part plays, and now go and this last part here plays. So that's just the basic of using score with such another client as VDMX. There's much more you can do with score and obviously with VDMX, but that will be for another time. So thanks for watching and bye bye.